Happy Easter everybody and welcome to Limmy Bashers. Saturday, uh, and I am going to be wiring in my diff today. Uh, in last episode, I swapped the diffs over uh, and I ran the line from the rear up to the engine bay. Um, so today, I'm going to be wiring in the actual solenoid itself. It took me a little bit of, you know, figuring out and going through my old photos and videos of when I did my first one, but I. I think I've got it now. Um, positive the, wire from my switch, which I've got sitting here. Obviously it won't be mounted to the wiper blade. Uh, the positive wire, which is running to here, will be run to ignition, so that it's not always on. Uh, the negative just earths out here. And the white wire, which is, I'm guessing, the trigger wire from this switch, goes to the blue wire for the solenoid. The green wire is an earth, which runs to there. And I've got the earth off the diff, which runs to there also. Um, it seems to, it seems to actuate the solenoid. So, as you can hear, when I turn the switch on and off. So, that's cool. So That's how it's yeah. going to be uh, wired up. I've just got to find my ignition source and actually wire it in and solder and do all that fun stuff. So I just took the wagon out of the garage and around the block for a test of the locker. I reversed it out of the garage and turned the locker on and went to turn and it it was skipping the tire on the bitumen, so that's pretty good indication that it works. Um, I've run the wiring in the engine bay; is all done. Uh, I've got it coming through the firewall. I've just got the switch here, which is still constantly on, as you can hear. Um, I've just got to hook that up to ignition wiring rather than constant power, which is what it's on now. And then I've just got to run me wiring inside and that's all done skis. So it shouldn't be too much longer now before it's out. Well, I say out in the bush and stuff like that, but we're not allowed to do that at the moment. So it shouldn't be too much longer until it's still in the garage. So diff wiring is all done. I have run the the power wire runs up to the cigarette lighter. Um, it's just where I'm getting the ignition source from because it's simple and it's there and I had to pull the center console out anyway because I had to redo the UHF aerial. Um, so that runs into there and this switch is mounted up here next to the traction control switch. So, if I turn the power on, if I turn it on to accessories, light comes on, so it'll stay on, off. It was just that I must have pressed the switch when I was putting it back on, so, yeah, so it only comes on with accessories now, which is sweet. So yeah, when I'm off-roading and I want to send it up a hill, just traction off, if on. Laughing. Now that it's all in properly and it's all wired up and working, now I can fit my genuine brand new warning this vehicle has a locking diff sticker. Perfect, the most important part of the business. Locker installed. Now it is time to prepare my roof rack for the tent. 
Uh, the tent won't fit with those sidebars along the side, so time to make a little love with the old angle grind. <laughs> Today on the wagon, the roof rack is now trimmed, ready for the tent, which I'll chuck on tomorrow. Primed and painted, uh, and I cleaned up the, uh, the the goo around the edge of the snorkel. So that's all good. And yeah, so I'll slap the tent on tomorrow. In the next episode, ciao.